Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, super interesting video today. Very short, but nevertheless extremely important. Jewish rabbi admits Islam is the oldest religion. All right, let's jump right into the video. But before we do so, guys, if you enjoy my work, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support my work. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. Um, well, I'm uh, Benjamin Avinson. I, I am an Orthodox uh, Hasidic Jew from Israel. Uh, and I work as a historian or um, a kind of consultant to the court that, uh, in Jerusalem that Rabbi Hollander is talking about. Uh, most of the people here know me from my endless discussions about uh, the similarities between Islam and, and Jewish customs. I, I enjoy talking about the Hadith uh, Tabari, uh, Ibn Isham, Wakidi, uh, talking about the kings of Hamya, as much as I enjoy talking about the, the Midrash Rabbah, the uh, Midrash Egula, Rambam, Tosfos, the Shulchan Aruch. Uh, I, I, I like very much to talk about common prayer customs between Islam and, and Judaism, about the similarities in architecture between the masjid and the uh, synagogue, between the similarities of the calendar, the, the Jewish uh, uh, holidays and, and customs. But it's clear to me that there's more than just similarities, that, uh, that they obviously go back to a common root and a common faith. So Fair enough. in talking okay. about a, a about common uh, heritage, uh, in our Jewish literature, we are taught that there is such a thing as a common faith, a fundamental religion which all men are born into. And this is a basic faith which is obligated on all mankind. In the past, we've called it by different names, the uh, Yirei Shemaim, which means the fear of he the people who have fear of heaven, Gertoshav, or Bnei Noach, the children of uh, Noah, or during Hellenist times, in Greek it was called Theos Hebea. Uh, and according to the school of thought of Rabbi Ben Mozeg, uh, this fundamental faith is also called by the name Islam. Subhanallah. Some yeah, this is really amazing to see because he ultimately admitted that Islam is the truth. What he is describing there is the primordial religion of mankind, the natural religion, the innate religion before people change it. Because this is what it truly implies. If you say within your scriptures there is such a thing, you can find it, the original religion. That means that you then in turn must be on a deviation. It doesn't work any other way. If there's an original faith, anything that comes after it is not original anymore. And therefore we have to ask ourselves the question, what is that religion? In Islam it is clearly described, God creates humans with a certain purpose, the purpose of worshipping him. And of course that worship implies a certain relationship to the creator. So what is that relationship? The relationship is submission to the will of the creator. So therefore you just have two modes of existence basically. One is submission to God and the other one would be following your own desires, following your own will, deviating, rebelling against God. And of course you see that in the story of Iblis, how Iblis rebelled against the will of God. He wanted to follow his understanding, right? So just two modes of operation. And therefore, following back yet again, Adam was the first human being born into that natural state of submitting his will to God. And now fast forward, you have prophets such as Abraham or Noah, which admittedly by Jews, by scholars themselves, were not Jews. They were not Jews, but they were monotheists. They were following the will of God. We know the story of Abraham, how he was willing to sacrifice his firstborn son to God because he was such a strong believer. However, Abraham came from a land which is now in this modern day and age, Iraq. So he wasn't a Jew. That is just factual. It's not a conspiracy theory. And the same applies to Noah. Yet again, he wasn't a Jew. He didn't practice Judaism, Talmudic Judaism, Rabbinic Judaism, none of it. He followed the true innate religion, the submission to the will of God. And what does Islam mean? It simply means submission to God. What is a Muslim? It is a submitter. It is someone that submits his will to God. So Islam with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the last prophet, brings all of it back to the origin. 
the way that it started. It had a beginning and now it has an end. It is finalized. It is finished. It is beautifully preserved now. Here it is. This is the original religion. The submission to God. Here you have it. You are invited as well. You can follow it. It is mind-blowing to me that people understand this intrinsically, but then they still go on and deny this truth. I have suggested that this Unreal. refers to the great number of non-Jewish believers who came to sacrifice the Qurban Shlamim in Jerusalem together with the Jews. Salamai, Muslimai, Muslimi. This could be a clear indication in, in our literature that Islam is an ancient religion dating back to the time of the Second Temple. Yeah, even or, further uh, back. Or even now. earlier. Yeah. And if Islam's roots, if the roots of Islam are the same as what we call B'nai Noach, then for us it is much older. No, this is the religion further. of Noah. This is further. the religion of Adam himself. Exactly. The, of the Adam himself. He gets of, it. Of Islam and Judaism has always been understood by biblical scholars un until recent years. The close relationship with the Jews, the, the ten lost tribes, uh, the, the Arabs, the Rechabites, all this was assumed to be true. It was only with the advent of German revisionists like Wellhausen and Buchler and others who, that this began to change. They introduced ideas that Islam had something to do with worshipping the moon, rocks, or some asteroid that fell. Yeah. <laughs> but devout, jo devout Jews know that this is not true. Exactly. It's a fact of Jewish law that we believe that Muslims and Muslims are perfect monotheists. They worship the same God that we do. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. As I said previously, it is absolutely mind-blowing to me, mind-bending, shocking, that a man of his intellect can sit there, fully understand, fully comprehend what it actually entails, that Islam truly is the first religion, and still not accept it, and still identify as a Jew. This is so unbelievable to me, I do not get it. Because if somebody doesn't understand the principle of the first religion, and therefore he doesn't accept it, Okay, this guy is misguided, but this person here clearly sees what is going on and he's still denying it. Unbelievable. But nevertheless, that aside, what he said there is of course factual, is of course true. He understood that the religion goes back to Adam and this is the Islamic position. God creates the first human being and of course this first human being is upon guidance. It's not a lost sheep. And therefore, what is that guidance? What is that relationship? What is that religion? It is the submission to God, that pure monotheism. And this is what Abraham was upon as well. This is why he is the father of nations. And this is what Noah was upon as well. And as I said already, Jews nowadays, Jewish scholars, do not see Noah and Abraham as Jews. They are the proto-Jews in some positions, but ultimately it is understood that they were not Jews. Quite the opposite, especially if you look into Abraham, it is believed that his sons then divide into the Jews and the Arabs. But, yet again, bringing it back to Abraham, what was his religion? And so therefore they do agree that it was this pure monotheism that ultimately got obstructed and lost. Because this is what you're implying when you say there was an original primordial religion and now you have Judaism, now you have Christianity. All of those religions are deviations from the pure monotheism which can only be found in Islam. And like anything in life, what goes around comes around. The way that it started with Adam, it finished with Prophet Muhammad. May peace be upon them both. Don't you see this beautiful circle, this finalization, this clear message of monotheism? Apparently, he does not. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, check out the links in the description box. It is absolutely crucial to support my work because YouTube is demonetizing. They somehow don't like me talking about certain subjects here. Very, very strange. Anyways, your support is greatly appreciated. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. يا نفس إن لم تظفري لا تجزعي آه